Alright guys, how are you doing? It's CK here and welcome back to Forza 6 for a blast in the Chevy Corvette Z06. That sounds very mean. Definitely love the noise that this V8 actually makes, but it's an American car, so I've got to do it. I've got to do it. Burn out off the lane. Yee! <laughs> Sorry if I offended any southern viewers from America. Did not mean to, it's just a joke. It's just a prank, bro. Just a prank, but immediately. Oh my god, it wants to go sideways. And I like it. I like it because it wants to do that. But anyway, we're here at Laguna Seca. It's just the natural home for this thing. I love it. I love this track to death. By far my favourite in Forza 6 in any Forza game. Kind of joint with Tsukuba in Forza 4. So the Corvette, what do I like about it? One, I love the looks of it. It's big, bulky, square and everything that I can imagine for an American car. But comparing it to the C6 generation, it just looks so much better. It looks so much better than the C6, at least in my opinion, guys. I don't know about you, but... Um, I was kind of thinking when this car came out, it would have, like, the round rear lights and everything, but I'm glad Chevy actually made a move into the modern era and stopped dragging on the old style of the Corvette. I'm not saying it's bad, but it needed to, like, move on. It needed to step in its own direction rather than just harking back to the past. So it, it's a really good looking car. And then the sound. Just listen to this. <laughs> oh god. I mean I would love to drive if I ever got the opportunity I would love to drive one of these things in real life up on the California hills. Just the ferocity of that engine note. Oh my god, it's just like... It's an angry T-Rex. Who needs soundproofing? Who needs a radio when you've got a noise like that? <laughs> not me. Definitely not me. Break, break, break. These are astonishing. These are really good. Oh yes, and the steering... Oh, it is absolutely perfect. It just corners so flat. And... <laughs> If you're not wanting to be an absolute douchebag and a hoonigan around the corners, it grips. It grips like a maniac. Down Corch through in second gear. Turn in. There we go. And boof of the throttle. Just getting the arse out. There we go. A little bit of understeer in there. I kind of went in there at a wee bit of a wrong angle. That's why that happened. It's so easy to drive this thing. You think with like 640 horsepower it would be all over the place, but it's not. It's composed, it's accurate, but probably the best part about this for me is the steering and the noise and the looks and every single thing about it. Sabine Schmitz, live with this! Live with this, girl! <laughs> Enough serious talking everything about the car and just like gripping. Let's drift. Let's drift panda bitches. There it is. Wait. Oh god. Ooh, a bit skittish. We got early tapping the brake. Just get a wee bit more angle going. Still in third gear. <laughs> Holy shit. And you don't really get the sense that it wants to spin, which is a great thing when you are doing this. It feels like it's gripping and drifting at the same time. It's Gripton. Gripton. How about that then? Or Griff. Griff. <laughs> Griffton. Hey, Peter Griffton. <laughs> oh, get that as a character in Family Guy. Just Peter Griffin's Driftin' brother. Hey, I like to go sideways. Lois, what are you doing? Don't get in my 240. I, I can't do it, Peter. I, I really can't do it, Peter. Whoa. He's kicking up the dust. Round. It just puts you in a metal mood, man. You just want to listen to, like, freaking Disturbed or some shit. I know Disturbed isn't, like, freaking metal, like, anymore. 
more heavy rock and shit, but you know what I mean? Like, a rock band sort of feel. ACDC, Black Sabbath, freaking everyone like that. Just put the black keys on and just freaking blast it. Yes. Oh my god, that's a blooming long one. Can we hold it? Yes. That's all I can say in this. Yes, yes. I'm doing a, to a Tomcat impersonation. Yes. I'm going round the corner now. Yes. I'm going to play spin tires every single day. <laughs> I'm only kidding. If you think I'm hating on him, I'm not because I'm one of his friends. You'll know if he's watching this video that's a joke as well, but he has been kinda kinda fallen into that game for a little while, hasn't he? For the people who are subscribed to him. Look, I don't mind watching it, seriously. His commentary is pretty good. Ooh. Second gear change up to third, oh my god. There we go. Whew. So what do I think about the Corvette as an overall package? Now, I think it's got the looks ticked, the sound ticked, basically every single thing ticked about a good sports car. Now, obviously this is kind of more in the sports muscle category, at least in my opinion it is, and it provides everything you would need from that category. It's a sensation to drive, it grips like hell, and it's just a overall mean machine and it just encourages you to want to drive it even more and just push it harder and faster to just get the best lap times possible but at the same time if you want to have a little bit of a hoon as you've seen with me I'm kind of naturally like that I like to have a bit of a hoon then you can easily get the tires pouring smoke now the big question is this which one would I take the Z06 or the new ACR Viper we're going to have to wait and see it currently isn't in a game yet. All we could do now is hope that it's going to come in a game this year. <coughs> Forza Horizon 3! But for now, let me know what you make of the VET Z06 in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching, guys. See you in the next one. I hope you like that new style of video, guys. I kind of wanted to give you something a wee bit fresher. But if you want to see some more content from me, then click either of the boxes above. And again, thank you for watching.